Okay, so first of all, I have here a list of aircraft campaigns in which air samples were collected. And then I have the latitude and longitude coordinates of the location where each air sample was collected from. And then I've also numbered each of the samples. And then in a separate spreadsheet, I have a list of sites where um, air, air samples were collected and their latitude and longitude coordinates. So I'm going to close both of these and then I'm going to search for my maps. And I'm going to open up my maps and this will work so long as you have a Google account. And then I'm going to select create a new map. And then I'm going to go to import and select a file from your computer. And then I'm going to open up the spreadsheets that I just had open. So you can see here that the column that I had labeled as latitude is made into the latitude coordinates and it has done the same thing for the longitude coordinates. And I'm going to select OK and then I'm going to make it so my labels will be the campaigns and then I'm going to select finish and it is going to load that. And so here is each of my sites. Now I'm going to rename the map and I'm just going to call it locations. I'm going to save that. And now I can change how these dots look. So if I go on here, I can change the color to whatever I want it to be. And I can also go on here and I can make it so all of the dots have a uniform style. And I can also make it so they have a sequence of numbers. And then I can make them individual styles, which is the default. And that's what we were just on. And then I can also uh, style them by one of my columns. So say if I wanted to campaign, I would make all of the dots a different color, except I have two sites that I labeled Taiwan. And so they are both the same color. But I want mine to be a uniform style. And then I also want my labels to be the campaign. So you can see now that there is a label next to each of my dots. Now I'm also going to format these. So I'm going to go to more icons. And you can see here that there's a huge range of different options to choose from. But I'm going to go to custom icon and then select a file from your computer. And I'm going to select this image, which is just an image that I downloaded off of the internet. And then I'm going to select OK. And you can see now that each of my locations is now marked with a pin. Now I can also add another layer to this. And I'm going to select import and I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Select a file from your computer and this time I'm going to select the flights. And then I'm going to select OK and campaign and finish. And then that's going to load. And this time I have all of my flights as well. And I am going to format this this time to make it look as simple as possible. So I'm going to go see all the icons. And you can see there's a lot of different options here as well. But I'm just going to have a circle and I'm going to select OK. And you can see now that they are all blue dots. Now I can also change the base map on here. There's nine different options for how you want the base map to look. I'm going to select this option. And then I'm going to preview this map. And this is what it will look like if you share this map with anybody else. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to collapse map legend. And I'm going to dismiss this. And I'm going to locate this approximately where I want it to be. And then I'm going to open up the snipping tool. I'm going to select new. And then I'm just going to click and drag over the area that I want, which is about here. And then I'm going to save this. And I'm going to call it map. 
I'm going to select save. Okay, and now I have that saved as an image so I can use it whenever I want. And that is it.